There are many misconceptions about hypnosis, that patients fall under a spell or have no control over the process. But the healing benefits from this type of therapy have been used since the 19th century and have proven to be helpful to both children and adults. We want to welcome Dr. Ron Anbar, a leader in clinical hypnosis and author of Changing Children's Lives with Hypnosis. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. So that's interesting. I never really thought of hypnosis being used on children. How long has this been practiced? Well, children have been using hypnosis ever since they started doing pretend play. And in terms of clinical hypnosis, we've been doing it for 50, 60 years with children already. How do you say that children have been using it with play? I mean, how, how do they know that they obviously don't know that they're hypnotizing themselves? How does that work? Correct. Well, a lot of people think hypnosis involves magic and somebody controlling your mind, but actually all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. And when children are playing and pretend daydreaming, that's a form of hypnosis. Another common form of hypnosis is when you're driving down the highway, you go three miles and say, how did I get here? That's hypnosis as well. I see. And why would hypnosis be a good tool to help with children's anxiety in particular? Well, anxiety occurs when people think about things that make them anxious, such as COVID as an example. And with hypnosis, you can teach a child to change their mindset to think about something calming and positive, and this helps them feel better. Interesting, Is it, where does it begin? How, how does it work? Well, it starts with a, a child buying into the hypnosis. Fortunately, most children don't have a lot of mi misconceptions about hypnosis as do adults. Um, I will typically show them a demonstration that when they uh, say they're strong, they become stronger. When they say they're weak, they become weaker. So they started to understand that uh, words have an effect on them. And then I explain that with imagery, they can help themselves feel better. And we'll start off by having them imagine a calm, safe place. And by so imagining with all of their senses, they become calmer. And finally, I teach them how to trigger that calm response when they become anxious as an antidote. And what typically causes anxiety in children? Well, many things can cause anxiety in children. It, it's, uh, you know, school-related issues are a big one. Uh, COVID was a big one. Worries about getting sick or infecting their family members or not being able to see their friends. Um, really, things that affect anything that might go wrong in a child's life that they could imagine uh, can make them anxious. So let's and children say, don't know how to cope with these such thoughts. Right. So let's take, for example, you mentioned school can make a child anxious. So uh, for me, I remember growing up and, and going to school, and I was always worried that I was not going to do well on a test, that I felt that I didn't prepare myself enough. So what would be an example of something that you would do to work with a child to get them feeling more confident? Perfect. So first of all, I would rather than telling rather than the child telling themselves, I'm afraid I'm not going to do well on the test. I teach them to tell themselves, I want to do well. On, I want to do well on the test. And this sets their brain asking themselves, how do I do that? And then I might teach a child how to calm themselves while taking the test, because sometimes they become so worked up, they don't do well on the test. Right. And finally, when they're calm, they can recall things better. And that way they can better show what they know. Tell us about your book. My book, Changing Children's Lives with Hypnosis, is a story of how I got involved in hypnosis 25 years ago and shows many examples of how uh, children can improve with hypnosis. And it's written for the public. My, my hope is that the public will read the book, realize how valuable hypnosis can be in helping children grow up, and then demand it for their children as a way of helping them with illness and also with health. Wonderful. And where can people find it? They can find it wherever books are sold. Okay, perfect. I want to thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. We're back after this.